what's up guys it's your boy gang welcome back to another mod review video in this video we're going to be taking a look at two mods we're looking at the mac grain hauler as well as the lizard road warrior um well the road warrior plus or warrior plus whichever way you want to look at it um let's see what it says anyway okay all right so basically the um grain hauler is by bc bueller is 45.72 megabytes to download from the mod hub and in here you have two options so if you go into mods and dlcs in your menu go to grain hauler you see you have the truck which is the rs 700 l 6x4 that by itself is 14 slots and has 50k um if you wanted to just get the truck with the back already attached to it that's gonna be sixty thousand. And that slot count is going to be 19. Then you have um, an extension. So this is, you can actually pull this behind uh, um, the trailer that's existing. Um, this is eight slots and it's 25,000. And then you have the back for the um, RS700 L6x4, which is three slots and it's 27,000. So let's go, take ahead, uh, go ahead and take a look at the Mac without the trailer head i mean without the, the trailer in the back so here you have design you have standard design one back to standard exhaust you have single dual back to single engine you have rs 700 l e n d t then you have the 700 l e9 back to the e n t then you have um wheel setup you have hybrid hd3 daytoners um, cross track HD3 Daytona, off road HD0 Daytona, hybrid HD3 aluminum, cross track HD3 aluminum, off road HDO aluminum, back to the HD3 Daytona. Color you have main design and you have main and two design. I um, believe the, 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 the third design will be for like the stripes and stuff like that. And um, that's basically options. Let's go ahead and take a look at options for the grain truck itself. Um, you have four color options here. Main and three designs. Let's see if the engine setup and everything. So you have standard, design one, back to standard. Exhaust, single, dual, back to single. Engine, you have the 700L, 700L E9, and back to the 700L. Hybrid, um, for the wheels you have hybrid HD3 Daytonas. Cross track Daytona, off road Daytona, um, hybrid aluminum, cross track aluminum, off road aluminum, back to the Daytonas. Actually, this is actually different. So, Daytona tag, off road Daytona tag, hybrid aluminum Daytona tag, cross track aluminum Daytona tag, off, and then back to um, Daytonas. And like I said, four color options. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what these trucks sound like. So RB, let's get the help menu up so you guys can see. RB and um, A, that's the horn. Sounds pretty good. RB and X, and, um, X yes, starts the truck. Um, RB and the down directional selects what side you want to tilt. If you want to do to the tip side, grain door, tip side back, back to grain. So it's just grain door on the back. Um, RB and LB and Y actually unloads the truck as you can see there let's go ahead and stop if you want to take the covers off it's going to be LB and the left directional let's turn the truck off really quickly all right so for hazards RB and left directional turns the left blinkers on right the left directional is turn the right blinkers on up should turn the hazards on which I don't see the hazards on here and then RB and B turns the lights on and that's basically the operation let's actually just hear how it sounds driving take a quick look in the cabin all right engine off so a few of the gauges do move when you press the gas the gear shifter move and the, the um the gas pedal actually moves as well And that's going to be the same for this particular truck here so 
Let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. The next mod is the Lizard Warrior Plus. This is by Raleigh Christie VSR modding, sir. 12 megabytes, 12.68 megabytes to download, 11 slots, and it cost 87,000 base. So let's go ahead and look in the menu. Over to the Lizard Plus. Um, this actually, like I said, 11 slots. If you go in here, here are the options. You have Wheel Brand, Continental, Nokian, back to Continental. Um, Continental, you have Standard. Nokia and you have off-road, off-road two, just the two options. All right. So next you have short cabin, high bumper. Let's go back to low bumper. All right. So it comes with low bumper. Then you have high bumper, low bumper plus mirror, high bumper plus mirror, back to low bumper. Vinyl styles. You have without vinyls, with vinyls, vinyl one, back to without vinyls. Um, <coughs> engine setup. You have WR, WR plus, which changes the horsepower. WR++ and then back to WR. Colors, you have main color and then one, you have inside color, design color, vinyl color, rim color, and that's basically the options. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this engine, uh, how this truck actually sounds. So RB and A, that's the horn, that sounds good. Startup doesn't sound too bad. Let's push the right joystick in. Let's actually turn it off. All right, so we turn it back on, navigation comes up, radio is showing. So now if we hit the gas, Gas pedal moves. Let's see if the the shifter doesn't move, but the seat does. All right, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this video, guys. If you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with us going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you want to be notified every single time I post a video, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, go ahead and leave them below. And I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys again for watching.